Hi, welcome to Salve Salento. I'm Jennifer, and today I wanted to do a video and show you the apartment that is downstairs from the house that I showed you in the first part, which was part one, was the upstairs part, which is this entrance right here that goes up behind me. But now we're gonna do the apartment that's downstairs. This is part of our property. So if you wanna take a tour with me and I'll show you what we're going to do with this one. So we're gonna enter into the kitchen and I'll zoom out so you can see everything. So this is the wall where the new kitchen will be. We're going to keep the footprint the way it is because the plumbing's already there and um, there's it's a really great layout now, so there's no reason to move it. So we're gonna put a kitchen unit with a stove. Um, I think I'm gonna put a stacked washer and dryer in that corner so we can vent it out because we don't wanna use one of those all-in-one units that are really popular here in Europe. Um, they use the all-in-ones, but they do use a lot of energy and they run a really long time. So if I can vent out that dryer to the outside, it will dry a lot faster and um, doesn't cook the, cook the clothes. The clothes kind of come out really hot and steamy when you use the all-in-one. So we're gonna put new kitchen here, obviously new flooring we're gonna put down on this wall in the corner. I think I'm gonna put the refrigerator and maybe a little bit more counter space, maybe a coffee bar area. And then in this room that was being used as a laundry room before, because they didn't have the plumbing, the washer and dryer, um, I'm gonna put seating in here. So we're gonna turn this into a little dining area. And they're gonna open up that wall, open it all up so that, and up, up to the top here, up here, they're gonna open that up too. And then, um, we're gonna turn this into a nice table area and it'll kind of be out of the way. So it'll leave a little bit more room here in the kitchen to the entranceway. So, okay, so now this is the kitchen. We're going to walk in to the living room. It's a really nice, beautiful room. You see the beautiful star-shaped ceilings in here. And we actually have some more of those lunette. And we have a fireplace that we found that was hidden behind this little paper wall. And it's actually a really nice functional fireplace. So we're going to restore it. And then, um, I mean, it can be used, but It'll probably be just used for show. We'll clean it up really nice and we'll have all of these renovations in the videos to follow. So we were talking about the damp problem that's down here. Um, these old buildings in Italy and a lot of other places in the world have a damp issue. So the moisture rises up from the ground, it travels through the stone, and then it comes into the house. And the one way that you can eliminate a lot of that damp is to let the stone be exposed and let the stone breathe. So we're gonna to end up taking off all this plasterboard. They're gonna take it all down, fix all that stone that's behind it and make it really pretty. So we will use it as a design feature and then we'll take care of that damp issue at the same time. So we have more lunette on this side and I think that there's some in the bathroom area too. Yeah, so those will, that'll end up being in the bathroom. I can't get you to see it because there's no power, but if you can see in the corner, there's more there and it's actually looks like a really nice shelf. So maybe we'll do something with that and turn that into a little decorative feature. And now this wall where the bathroom is, so I'll step back. They're gonna knock that wall down that has the X on it. And they're gonna make that wall flush with the entranceway over here and then put a door and close it all off down here 
and make the entrance to the bathroom on this side, and then have the shower be on the end here. So maybe I can figure out what I'm gonna do with that in the shower. But then this will still be the bathroom, but this will all be closed off. So this is going to be a whole new wall and everything. And this apartment actually has two entrances. So in addition to the front entrance that's off the courtyard, there's this really cute entrance that I'll show you. I'm gonna show you the bedroom first and then I'll come out and show you the entrance over here and show you where it leads. You can see it from the bedroom. So we have a really big closet here and they're going to clean these lunette up, take off all of the old paint and everything that's been put on them over the years. We're gonna to try to restore them as best we can. And I think we're going to leave the ceiling plastered. We're not going to expose it. We will expose in the bathroom, but we're going to leave the ceiling the same um, with the plaster in here. They might do a different kind of a design, you know, something new. And I'm gonna leave it up to them. So this is the bedroom. So if you come back, they're gonna put a door on here because there's no door on the bedroom now. And probably going to put the bed on that wall. And there's a window, they're going to replace the window. And then you can see from the bedroom down here, that view of the ancient wall and that well, and the little garden, which is really, really pretty. So it'll be nice to wake up and see the sun shining and be able to see that. And here is an old fireplace, big fireplace. And it's, it's covered. So they're going to take all that out and then we'll, we'll see what's inside it and see how we can make this into a, you know, better closet, some kind of storage, but um, I wanna be able to use the space well. And if we put the bed on that wall, then it won't interfere with this closet that I really would like to use and do something really fun and funky with. So um, they're going to take out all of the radiators, obviously, and we're gonna just use the air cons because they said that if we use the air cons, it's not such a big space um, for heating and cooling. So it's not necessary to keep the radiators. So I'll do a little quick pan. So this is what the room looks like now because it will not look like this for much longer. They are going to tear it up. Let me see how I can get out of here. Yes, okay. Okay, so coming out the door, and there's this beautiful little area, the walkway, and from that other entrance to the apartment, it takes us out to the garden, which is so pretty out here. and such a beautiful breezy day, but um, I'm really looking forward. I'm, I'll, I'll be able to put some plants out here or something, maybe a little color near the wall and something that we won't have to do too much maintenance to. But look at this, I mean, so old and it's still standing, which is just unbelievable. And they will fix all of this. We might do some you know, plaster work. They're gonna make this all look nice and neat so that we can have it look pretty. So this was the first part of the other properties that we have. This was the apartment. So part number one was, yeah, the other video that I did was the upstairs. This part two is this apartment and a small apartment that's also part of the property, which we're going to be renovating also. So I'm going to walk you over there and show you what we're going to do with that one. So this is the third property and final property that was included with our purchase. So this is a very, very small studio apartment. And it's really cute in here too, so there's a barrel ceiling and it has a bathroom 
It's not very big, this little apartment, but it's enough to be a cute studio with a bathroom. And we actually will be able to put a full size bathroom here with all the necessities. We're gonna put a um, toilet and a little shower. And then the idea is we'll put a sink out here which would function as a sink for the, over here, I'm thinking a little coffee bar. So if you were using this for coffee in the morning, if somebody, like you have a guest staying, we have a guest staying, they want to make a quick cup of coffee in the morning. And then they'll be able to use this sink, which will make a larger sink that will be able to accommodate if they wanted to wash, you know, a dish or something like that, that they had. So, we're going to have the sink there. And then we're still throwing around the idea of maybe a bed that folds up. So if, like a Murphy type bed or even a sofa that pulls out, but something that's comfortable enough that when guests come to stay, they can sleep for a few nights because I really would not want to have my guests sleeping on a sleeper sofa if I can avoid it. So. And then this area here will probably make a little closet and have an area for the uh, suitcases to be stored. If someone has a suitcase, they can just stick it in the little niche that's there and we'll cover it. We'll make the plans for that later on. See what we can, what we can get out of that. Because these walls are not very, very easy to chip away at. I, really to use the space the way that it is, is the most economical. And we're obviously gonna put new doors and they're going to change out that window or and we're going to do something. And I'm not sure if we're exposing the ceiling here. I would, I would like to because I think that it would be really great. It would take care of that moisture problem also. So um, I'll have an update for you after we start the demolition of this apartment and the other two, the main house and the other downstairs apartment. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today. I'm really looking forward to the progress that we're going to make with these projects. We have a few projects now, so that's the one we just came from. The upstairs, which I showed you in video number one. And then now the apartment downstairs, which is right, right there. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please click on the like and subscribe and share, and I'll see you next time. Take care.